Russia pulls troops back from Ukraine as drills continue. And you can look at the picture here that I've provided that you can see what has been annexed by Russia, where the pro-Russian protests have occurred, and occupation of RSA. And you can see that uh, it's basically where the Russian protest, where the pro-Russian stuff is, is uh, essentially along the eastern border of Ukraine, lying to Crimea. And I hope you notice here the geopolitical reality here. And I, I've gone over this before, and I'm going to go over it over and over again. You see where Crimea is, right in this area, right in here. These are these are these are vital vital ports for Russia that have easy access to the Black Sea, and even along here, these coastals here, they're very very much influenced by the geopolitical positioning of this giant landmass in the middle of the Black Sea. If Russia hopes to have some sort of stable nation statism in the area and have some vitality on the world stage it must control the black sea it must have easy access to the black sea get you past uh, turkey get you into into uh into the world so to speak uh, into the mediterranean and everything else so it's vital for russia this is not negotiable for russia they cannot allow the crimea to fall into the hands of the quote-unquote west and that's 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 the geopolitical reality that we're talking about here. And on that front, we have this top link here that I've chosen. Russia troop pull back Ukraine. Russia backs down from Ukraine and pulls back tens of thousands of troops as Putin caves into the West. This is for the sun.co.uk. Love that. Love that headline. I don't I, I don't know that he's caved to the West so much as uh, well. Well, I'll just go on. Uh, Vladimir Putin today signaled the start of a pullback of troops from the Ukraine border, but Defense Minister Sergei Sho Shoghi vowed action in an immediate reaction if Russia faced a threat from NATO. Five, uh, well, remember, the U.S. actually backed down first. They're the ones that decided. When I say the U.S., I mean Biden, the, ba the corporate nationalist Biden America, whatever that is. Uh, they... They, they, they said that they were sending uh, warships to the Black Sea and the warships haven't shown up. And now Russia has stocked the Black Sea with warships. So I, I don't know if the United States will enter at this point. Uh, Russia deploys. <laughs> this is this is why I don't know about whether he's actually backed down or not. Russia deploys decoy army of inflatable tanks, missiles and fighter jets to trick the West amid Ukraine tensions. Now, this is also from the sun. You notice it's the one here. So there are two stories. This story could possibly undermine this because, well, it could very well be that what they really pulled back was the fake stuff that they put up. So that's why I'm not sure if, if they actually backed down. Russia deployed a decoy army of inflatable tanks, missiles, and fighter jets to trick the West amid Ukraine tensions. I want those, I want those inflatable tanks and inflatable missiles and inflatable fighter jets. I want them. Oh, my gosh. I so want them. I mean, you do, too. You know you do. We all do. Uh, the, super, the superpowers blow up army. <laughs> blow up army. I love it. Was used for nationwide military exercise. Russia has deployed. Let me see. Do they show a picture of it? Please show. Please show a picture. Oh, you got a video here. You got a video. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Well, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I want it. I want it. Now, this homeowners, this incredible tip is just okay, for you. Okay, come on. If you owe less Hold than three hundred thirty-one thousand, oh gosh, oh gosh, skip that. Yeah, skip that. There you go. They're setting up. I don't know if I really want to listen to the music here. So you can see they're setting up here. Right there. Oh man, I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh please, this is what you guys. If you guys love the show, if you love Freedomist, then uh, Freedomist.com. Then do. Uh, here, let me let me shrink this down a little bit here for you, because it's not in there. There you can see it there. There you can see. I want it. Oh, I want these. I want a whole bunch of them just sitting in my front yard and my backyard. I wanna I wanna blow up Russian army in my front and backyard, back backyard. That's what I want. That's what I want. And uh, back to uh, other headlines. Here we have Russia holds major drills in Crimea amid UK Ukraine tensions. So there you go. They're not they're not backing down. And I, and I don't really know that, well, 
I think that maybe some of those troops that they've pulled back have maybe even been inserted. So I wouldn't hold my breath as far as the idea that Russia has backed down. Russia holds major drills in Crimea amid Ukraine tensions. Uh, and I will also say at home, oh, this is from ctvnews.ca, I'll say at home, as we covered in yesterday's show, with the Navalny protests going on, there is some resistance at home to the idea of Russia becoming embroiled in a full-out war in Ukraine. So this also serves to help Putin a little bit at home as well. But I just, I don't know. I just don't think they really back down. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not sure on this one. The Russian military on Thursday conducted massive drills in Crimea involving dozens of Navy ships, hundreds of warplanes, and thousands of troops in a show of force amid tensions with Ukraine. The maneuvers were described as the largest since Russia annexed the Black Sea Peninsula from Ukraine in 2014. And then some other headlines. Putin vows a quick and, ru and tough Russia response for its foes from CBN.com. Russia tries to jam signals from U.S. Air Force RQ-4 surveillance drone. Drone, that's defenseblog.com. I'll keep tracking that. I might cover more of that later in another uh, episode. Russia orders troop pullback but keeps weapons near Ukraine. That's CMP, scmp.com. Russia pulling troops back from Ukraine border and move that will cool tensions in region. News.sky.com. Fat chance. Vladimir Putin's operations could be undermined by EU hard stance. Uh, and uh, I'm going to say on that as well. That's from BBC. Fat chance as well.